Isograph has recently released version 2 of our data link manager. My name is Joe Beland, and today I'd like to talk to you about Isograph's data link manager and the new features of the product. The data link manager, or DLM, empowers organizations to integrate their requirements management tools with Isograph's safety and cybersecurity products. Through the DLM, Reliability Workbench and Attack Tree are seamlessly connected to JAMA Connect and IBM Rational Doors, ensuring the consistency and integrity of data. This supports many different industry standards by automating requirements management linkage to safety and security methods such as fault and attack tree analysis, FMEA, and hazard assessment. Using the DLM, you can transfer requirements between products, maintain links and apply consistency checks, verify quantitative goals and requirements coverage. To explain at a high level, the DLM allows you to link an object in Reliability Workbench or Attack Tree, such as a gate or failure mode, to an item such as a technical requirement or safety goal in Doors or JAMA. This linkage allows you to transfer data between the two software applications, such as importing a requirement from Doors to Attack Tree, or updating the achieved risk in JAMA with the analysis results from a fault tree. To better understand this, I'd like to walk you through how the DLM can be used to link safety goals in JAMA to Reliability Workbench, and how the results of the analysis in Reliability Workbench can be transferred back to JAMA. To begin, I'll configure the DLM application connections. In the project options, I can choose the Isograph application I want to link to, either as Reliability Workbench, or attack tree. For this example, I'll choose Reliability Workbench. Likewise, I can choose the external application as either JAMA or Doors. Again, for this example, I'll use JAMA. In the JAMA project I'll be using, several safety goals have been defined. I will want to make a note of the project ID and container numbers in the URL. I will be using the DLM to link these safety goals to Reliability Workbench. There are a few different ways to do this. Firstly, I can use the Transfer JAMA Requirements option under the Links menu. This will allow me to choose a folder from a JAMA project and transfer all objects within it to the Requirements table of the safety assessment module in a Reliability Workbench project file. In addition, the link sets will be added to the library view in the DLM so they can be easily transferred to the current DLM project with drag and drop. I can examine the link in the DLM to view both the JAMA object and the Reliability Workbench object. I can also perform this process in reverse by selecting the Transfer RWB Requirements option in the Links menu. This will allow me to choose a Reliability Workbench project and create new JAMA items based on the requirements in the Safety Assessment module in the Reliability Workbench project. The item type can be used to specify what kind of JAMA object will be created. In this case, type 116 is a technical safety requirement.
If I wish to link objects in Reliability Workbench other than requirements to JAMA items, or if I want to choose existing Reliability Workbench objects to link rather than having the DLM create them, then I can use the Links Import JAMA Objects main menu option. This will create link sets from JAMA objects, but without creating a corresponding Reliability Workbench object. When I examine a link, I can see a JAMA object has been selected, but a Reliability Workbench object has not. I can choose the specific object to link within Reliability Workbench, then select the Tools, Copy URL to Clipboard main menu option. Once copied, this URL can be pasted into the DLM using the appropriate button. I can also manually create a link item and manually copy and paste the URL from both JAMA and Reliability Workbench. Now that I've made associations between objects in JAMA and Reliability Workbench, I will want to also define the specific data that should be shared between them. This is done by defining links between JAMA columns and Reliability Workbench columns. By linking columns, we can transfer corresponding data between linked pairs of JAMA and Reliability Workbench objects. Column links are defined in the Project Options dialog. I can choose if data should be copied from JAMA to Reliability Workbench or from Reliability Workbench to JAMA and whether existing data should be overwritten or combined. In this project, I have linked the JAMA description field to the first notes field in Reliability Workbench, and the calculated gate unavailability will be brought into the probability field in JAMA. Once I have linked a JAMA column to a Reliability Workbench column, I can use the links read column values menu option to read in the values from both programs. Any inconsistencies in data will be highlighted in red. I can use the links update column values to copy the data across to the appropriate program and sync the data between them. In this way, I can maintain integrity of data between my requirements tracking software and Reliability Workbench. Data Link Manager version 2 is now available from Isograph. Please contact us to request an evaluation copy or upgrade. Thanks, and have a great day.